And they added more sliders. Please adjust the slider until the dog and cat are friends. Oh, look at that. If I do it all the way. <gasps> look at that. That's so cute. You love the little animals. Slider until number five becomes a number nine. Okay. They added more sliders. Oh, wait. Technically, that's the number nine. Okay. Please just the slider until you stop adjusting the slider. Okay. Which of the two made up words below is the most appealing to you? Oh, good boy, call scrub tush. <laughs> Please don't adjust the slider. Aw, oh, that's no fun. Okay. You know what time it is right now? Uh, yes? Is the time that it is right now the correct time? Yes? What is the time, anyway? That's not a yes, no question. Can I type no? Okay. Uh, no. Is there anything about yourself that you haven't told me? Well, yeah, there's lots of stuff about me they don't know. Help! Help! Yes. Will you come back to visit me? Well, yes, of course. Okay. <laughs>though the internet saffron here, going back into the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. And last time we, you know, we're in a hole. We were in a hole and it was actually getting pretty, pretty chill in that hole. And then um, things got crazy and, and now we're back at the beginning. So the end is never the end. Let's see what other endings we can find. This is a Click to skip. Yes, we know about Stanley. Oh, okay. All of this yep, co-workers were gone. Were gone. Very sad. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he <clears> simply <throat> missed a memo. Were these drawers open before? They probably were. I probably just missed it. Uh, do we want to continue with the new, new content? Yeah, I think oh, so. Good. You notice my sign. Yes. yes. I have something very exciting to show you. We'll go back to the Stanley Parable 2. Okay, reassurance bucket. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution I can't read what that says. fundamental Words. problem of the game. It's Some an enhanced cliche. It's a terrible reassurance bucket. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. Okay. You may even Just give me the basket. We've done this already. The embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a just give me the basket. I just want the basket. Than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Give me the basket. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be. Yes. The bucket is the Give me the basket. Solution. I want the basket. Come on. I'm up. waiting. I'm trying. There. I just want the basket. We're going to escape with the basket. The glow of comfort. It's my basket now. I'm kidnapping it. Despair must Let me out. already be sweeping through your body. Let me out. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Okay, that's great. Let me out. Seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more awaits you in the Stanley Parable too. Okay, thank you. Out. I want the out. The button that says Jim. For most enjoyable bucket in a video game. That really should be an award if it isn't already. Maybe the bucket's name is Jim. Is Jim the bucket? You heard Jim in the game. Is the button still there? Did he bring it back? Maybe he brought it back. So it says Jim on the outside. In here it just says name. No, it's still gone. 
How about these buttons? Do they do anything? No. Okay. Well, now we have our bucket. We can escape with our bucket. Okay, and again, I've lost the exit. Oh, there we go. Exit. Big sign that says exit. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Exit. We haven't seen the exit. We're going to go see the exit. With our busket. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's interesting. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Yes. Ready to move on now? Yes. Suitcase. Okay. Yeah, 0344. I'll have to remember that. Ooh, new mug! It is! I was just gonna say it's a new mug! It's a new mug! <laughs> That's awesome. Uh So Stanley, what do you think? Do whoa. you like all of the new features? Guess I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say. Let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Are you ready? Yes. Here it is. Yes. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. <gasps> the hole! I want to jump in the hole. I've run out of jumps. Um, it says I have 36 well, jumps um, remaining, I mean, though. There's potential here, right? I want to go. Sort of. Let's go. Okay, never mind. Let me down there. Oh, I want to go. Let me do I a play. different arrangement. Oh, and the oh, epilogue yes. was even there. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version two. Oh, that's um, <sighs> that's a mess. This is and there's a collectible. <gasps> it's a lot of gags. Can I get and it? I very much enjoy Can I get it? Gags, but they don't add up to anything. I can't get it. I wanted more. And there was too many buskets. to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they wouldn't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Ooh. Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect, oh, that's crazy! With care for the vision <laughs> and integrity of the original game. The walls disappear as you go around it. That's cool. I suppose it could, but it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Stanley Parable 2 Ultra Deluxe. Whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Whoa. Haha, <laughs> here we are, the Stanley Parable 2. Settings. Oh, it's very red. This is the back rooms. Okay, we're gonna start the Stanley Parable 2. This is the story. Yes, the man named Stanley. And it's still 20 after 11. And now we have balloons All everywhere. The blue! Happy birth, 12th to to birthday, Stepneys! Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <gasps> busket! Do we want to take the busket? Well, it's gotta be there for a reason. Okay, well now we have the busket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Nope. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling it's to the him. the bucket version. Him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? <laughs> yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. It's a very smart bucket. No. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left. Wait. Go back to the meeting room. Where's the broom closet? 
We gotta find the broom closet again. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Broom closet. Still we have no a was broom here. and a busket. Sandy needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. <gasps> Perhaps the closet's office was where he'd find answers. Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy. It's as clear Can't as have it. this broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. It's my bucket. I know how hard it is. My precious. Be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh, no. We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet <laughs> has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons. But even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends. <laughs> That That's a very insulting so broom closet. Convenient. Come on. That Can it not see our loving and lasting friendship? The same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened well, to you know, there was a broom. In an even I wanted the broom, but manner. they wouldn't give it to me well, that either. Never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Um, Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Yeah, we went down a hole. Each of them point by point. And share your journal. We walked through these hallways. The emotional landscape of your feelings. And we came in this broom closet. Just to tell you're a bunch of assholes. Let him have it. There we go. <laughs> I let him have it. Okay. Okay. I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. <gasps> there. It is now my it's busket. Set. No more debate. Stanley's no more busket. Discussion. Take a hike, broom closet. That's with all right. The meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning <laughs> supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. Stanley's bucket. Piss off, broom closet. Okay. All right, I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm <gasps> Ooh, going to slap it on as stickers. well because I think it's appropriate. <gasps> see, I feel that it works because the sticker I have the sticker is of a bucket. A bucket. <laughs> that way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, oh, "It is a, it's bucket. a bucket." There really is. It is a indeed a bucket. Of applications for this sticker. See. Now I even get a two stickers, stupid closet. You know what? Fuck off. I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. That's and because be honest, I put him in a place. I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. There. Stupid broom closet. Anyway, continuing on with our busket. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Nope. Never. I must listen to the busket. Fire hose? Was that here before? I don't recall. <gasps> Ooh, hey, there's a thing. You found one of them. One of the miniature <clears throat> Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful They are areas. amazing. All right, anyway, where were we? But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. So are we going to do the dream sequence except with the busket? In such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then, 
something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down Basket at the bucket and down. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. The bucket returned his gaze. It said nothing at all. Yes, Need a pair of googly eyes on the Usually bucket. The bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. <gasps> bucket, you are That's letting me down! Realized. This isn't my bucket. It's just <gasps> a normal, everyday bucket. Someone else's But it says bucket. it's property of Stanley! I end up with someone else's bucket! This is all terribly wrong. Surely no <gasps> good would come from No, this. my basket! What sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience They took the basket! The psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious! He exclaimed, without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? <gasps> I, I am real. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. <gasps> Busket. Stanley, it's me. Busket, where the are bucket. you? Could it truly be? He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket <gasps> after the next. None of them were Too his. many buskets. None of them were his special bucket. They don't have a sticker. Talk to me, Stanley. Find How will I ever find my basket? He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. None he of you are my basket. Imposters, frauds. Knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of Stanley him. was the basket the whole time. It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. This is the story of a woman named Marianne. Now we're back here. Is she gonna find a dead busket? <laughs> woke up on a day like any other. <laughs> That's gonna be great if there's a bucket laying there instead of Stanley. Of oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. The walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. He didn't this have his busket. No bucket. Of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Marietta thought. And she hugged her own bucket even tighter. <laughs> but of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity. <laughs> the bucket is everything. She thought to herself, my life is <laughs> And she backflipped all the way to work. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so that was kind of just a repeat of the ending, but the bucket makes it so much better. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Figuring Perhaps Finders Committee meeting memo. today in the meeting room. <gasps> and it still has a stick. This is definitely Stanley my bucket. The bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over him. I wonder if I can get back to the new new content. Do I not have to as my bucket? There will be a reward for finding them all. Uh, no, you told me not. Trust the completionist instinct. Yes. So floating objects have appeared across the office. We have to synergize our resources to ensure their retrieval. Many, many questions. There, are, there was no memo from management. <laughs> Who took pictures of the? Managed to pick up sounds unusual. <laughs> it's all a big conspiracy. Weird spinning at yes. Why do they look like 427? Magic? Why floating? We can do it. Okay. Um. Oh, and it even marks off which ones I have. Large room, lots of boxes. Somewhere both red and blue. Nearby a fireplace. A private but smelly place for an important person. There must be a point to this. No, I don't think there is. Okay, so... 
Somewhere both red and blue nearby a fireplace. There was a fireplace in the boss's office too, wasn't there? Was there? Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Well, we know for sure the stinky place. <gasps> you can hear it glisten. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs. <laughs> mini stands oh, doesn't sound right. That just sounds like it's asking yes, for trouble. I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Woohoo! Three of six. To be rich, is it a crime? To commit crimes, isn't it rich? What a life it would be to have to pick just one. Okay. <gasps> I wonder, can I... Oh, I thought you could keep going up at some point. Maybe it's not the stairs. All right. Bring a bucket to the... Hello? That's the saddest picture. Business strategy, yeah. Um, elevator. Oh. Hi, elevator. Um. Going in down in the elevator. Did it say Stanley? Is the narrator singing? What the heck? Okay then. Um. This goes on for quite some time. Oh! Wait, what? the cuss all right oh <laughs> what does that say i am the most expensive boss yeah okay uh that was an interesting room anyway all right fireplace stepping into his manager's office stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life Piano? By the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Yeah, I was said by a fireplace. Well, the here's the fireplace. Device. Did the bucket's warmth and There must be another light. fireplace yes, that I don't know about. Clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> Stanley just sat around twiddling his but Stanley guessed I got the code just know. give me a second now yeah, right dur knew all along was the bucket guiding him yes this is certainly the most logical explanation the bucket is guiding me guide me busket <gasps> figurine okay I'm going back to the name <clears throat> of these little Stanley figurines and now I'm torn between Stanlerines 
and figures. <laughs> what do you think, Stanley? What name better in I think the Stanleyans are better. That you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one. Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Okay, anyway. Back in the elevator. At least this one goes somewhere. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. <laughs> Very Super important him, bucket. Comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would <clears throat> be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Gracious. I still don't like you, Yellow Cube. I don't know what you are. Stanley and the Bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Escape! Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the Bucket would both meet a violent oh, death. Oh, yeah, we don't want it. We did the, the violent death ending in the other one. We don't want it. I don't care what it is with the Bucket. Well, I, don't, course, I suppose. Stanley and the Bucket thought better of it and realized they simply had too much to live for. Yes, we must escape with the Bucket. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place yes. hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. Eh. It looks like all the room numbers. I'll come over here, turn on the power. Oh, there it is. Turn on the cameras. The monitors jumped to life and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea Yeah, pigs. except whatever that the that one there had is. Never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears. As <laughs> I'm sorry, Bucket. It's okay. Everything, it, everything will be fine. Will be fine. Everything will be fine, Bucket. We'll be okay. I promise. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? <sighs> what kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Yes, what are the desires of the bucket? No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't <sighs> accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Okay, that red is flash. Okay. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Ah. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded Consoles from this disabled. very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down How does a bucket high-five? I suppose the handle, maybe? I don't know. We've done it! Stanley and the Bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes! They had done it! Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Uh -huh. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. 
Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. <laughs> Murphy wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they <gasps> okay. envisioned, but it was one they'd live together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support. What? Wait. Uh... What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Um... Was Stanley and the bucket not about to be freed? Out, please. An Outies. silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. Outies, Until please. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. It's my bucket! Oh! The facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the But it's my bucket! You guys can't have it! The warmth of the bucket. You can't have my basket! Not to part with the bucket. Oh, the sun! No! Stand no. this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. No! At least he has the bucket. My basket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? It's so Stanley dark. Gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Oh, we're back here. One more run with the basket. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, the come along, Bucket. All seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. Come along, Bucket. Okay, do we want to go Stanley left or right? Touched the bucket tightly to his. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be, and here it was. Yep, we're just gonna pass to that. Connect. No, never mind. The bucket was, was wrong. wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting mm. room. Nope. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Okay, we are on the cargo Good, lift. Said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's Can I? Ooh, oh, oh! But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. That wasn't exactly what I was wanting to happen it's okay we'll try that again <laughs> all of his Oops. co workers were gone what could it mean stanley decided to go to the meeting room okay busket spread through stanley's arms with the bucket in his arms again he was home stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his this was not the correct way to the meeting room but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Well, no, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The car okay. lift. Yes, good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should okay, be. We gotta try to get on this catwalk, I think. Too. I think but that's Stanley what we want to do. not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Nope, 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 no. We are going this way. Danger everywhere. Where is this? 2B3. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't? I didn't know there was no buckets. I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. Let me through! So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, Whoa. step in here for a moment. 
Okay. It's dark in here. Oh, oh! <laughs> Is this a bucket? Oh, now okay. Then, I'm going to run you through some test scenarios and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything you'll <laughs> ever need to know about what is, is it a bucket? Is not a bucket. <clears throat> okay, let's begin. Item okay. One. Is this a bucket? Uh, yes. We'll 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 say so. Correct. It is a hologram of a bucket. What? Not an actual bucket. <laughs> Come on. Okay, fine. It's a hologram of a basket. Item two. Is this a bucket? I don't know how to answer now because it might be a hologram of a basket. Correct. It is a 3D <laughs> recreation of a bucket. Oh! Not an actual bucket. It's still a bucket. <laughs> What's the difference if it's 3D printed or not? Item three. Is this a bucket? I don't know. I don't know what to answer. I'm so nervous. What if I get it wrong? It is a bucket. Correct. Hey, that is a bucket. Is a bucket. <laughs> Who knew? Looks like a bucket. That's four. definitely a bucket. Is this a bucket. I mean, 100% it's a bucket. I mean, can't you see the big space in there to hold stuff? It is definitely a bucket. Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. It's an enormous no, it's machine a that kills the earth. I it holds people. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. Let's just move on to the next. But it's a bucket for people. You put people in there. Is this a bucket? Yes, we already determined that. That's a, that is indeed a bucket. Correct. This is a bucket. See? I know what I was talking about. <laughs> Item six. Is this a bucket? No, that is definitely not a bucket. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. Well, that's hardly fair. Is a bucket and not a bucket? Is it Pavlov's bucket? Item... Wait, hold on. I no, wait, a that would be Schrodinger's bucket. Be around here somewhere. It is also a bucket and not a bucket. Uh. Yes, that is a bucket. Okay, you and I both know there isn't anything here. There, it's, it's an I invisible don't bucket. The implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something, <laughs> and therefore nothing could possibly be something, unless in your twisted mind have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? Um, well, no, something has to be a bucket. Bucket has no, to be something? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. We have no and idea what a bucket I'm is. Somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? It's getting to the point where you say bucket, so... Stanley, I um, can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm no. afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship uh -oh. apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry, but I'm going to erase all <gasps> the buckets from the No! Game. They can't erase all the buckets! Okay. Here we go. <gasps> what happened? Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait, was everything a bucket? Everything it is all a bucket. A bucket. Oh my God! I it's like cake. Bucket. Everything is cake. Everything is bucket. Except me. I am not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So tell you what. I'll reset everything, and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? Yes. And we'll know. We gotta know. We gotta have the bucket. buckets. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. And here we are back. 
So what if I don't take a busket? What could it mean? Do I go back into the new new content? He had simply missed a memo. Oh no, then we're just at the decision room. You gotta take the busket. But what if I want to go back to the new new content? Excuse me. Right. Well, anyway, I think that's going to be it for this episode of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. And I don't know, I might explore this some more, but if you want to see me play it, uh, let me know in the comments and stuff. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, ring that bell, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you all later. Property Stanley's Bucket. So nobody else's bucket.